Hello, my name is Ahmed from Synthetic MR, and in this video I'll be talking about the reference curves that SciMRI provides for the different quantitative tissue maps and volumetric measurements. And this helps make for a more objective approach towards diagnosing and monitoring of treatment efficacy and different disease states. And over here we have all of our reference curves. And as you can see, uh, they are all age stratified with the ability to expand the age range all the way up to 90 years old. This particular case belongs to a 16 month old female with severe hydrocephalus, which actually can be quantitated by noting the CSF volume that is 7.8 standard deviations above normal and the brain parenchymal fraction or BPF being 8.5 standard deviations below normal. Of course, what's more, you have the myelin content in the top left, the myelin parenchymal fraction in the top right, with the intracranial and brain parenchymal volumes in the bottom left. These curves can also be used in milder and earlier stages of disease, helping provide the physician with earlier signs and indications of myelin loss or brain atrophy with the ability to track these losses over time. Similarly, they can also help pediatric physicians track myelination and brain development over time in their younger patients. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been an informative and helpful session. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach to either myself or any member of our team so we can help you learn how SciMRI can optimize your radiology practice.